Hello and welcome back to Biker's Stuff. Have you ever wondered what the numbers on your tyres mean? They are a combination of size, maximum load, top speed and date of manufacture. In every generation there is a chosen one. She alone will stand among the oily rags, the replacement parts and the used tyres. She is Biker Stuff. Before I start, can I ask if you haven't already, would you please subscribe then ring my bell so that you will get notifications when there is more to see from Biker Stuff. Oh, what's that one doing? Yep, keep going. Keep going. Oh, there you go. Yes. Let's take a look at this one and see what it says. This is an old tyre my husband used a few years ago on his Tiger. The size is 150 slash 70 R17. Let's break that down. The first part is 150, meaning the treaded area from side wall to side wall is 150 millimetres. The 70 is the aspect ratio and means that the side walls are 70% of the width of the tread. Next is R17. The R means that the tyre is a radial rather than a cross ply. If it was a cross ply tyre, the R would be replaced with a dash. The 17 is the rim diameter of the wheel in inches. Most big bites are 17 or 19 inches. Next it has the MC69R. The MC is to show it is a motorcycle tyre, followed by 69, which is the tyre's maximum load. The R is the speed index. Let's look into those further. The codes go from 0 to 150, and most bikes are going to be somewhere between 40 and 80. The load index on this tyre of 69 means it can handle 325 kilograms. That is the weight of your bike, you, your pillion and all of your luggage. But it is only one tyre. The front takes its share of that too. Then the speed code is R, which means the tyre is capable of up to 105 miles per hour. The letters begin at B, which means 30 miles per hour, and go up with each letter until you get to Y, which is 186 miles per hour. However, the letter H is 130 miles per hour and fits in between U at 125 and V at 150. And Z means 150 plus miles per hour. But don't ask me why there are these two anomalies. <laughs> you will also have an arrow showing the direction of rotation the tyre is designed to go in. And in this case, it also tells us it is a rear tyre. The last part is the date. From the year 2000, all tyres have a manufactured date. It is a four digit number where the first two are the week and the last two are the year. The date code on this one is 3616, which shows it was made on the 36th week of 2016, 
which is somewhere between the 5th and the 11th of September that year. If your tyre is over five years old, I'd suggest replacing it. Of course, if you ride as much as I do, you'll probably be replacing your tyres every year or two anyway. I hope you found this useful and interesting. Thank you for watching. I know you liked it, so tell your friends and I'll see you here next time on Biker Stuff.